Guys, welcome to part two of our instructional video on how to set up a Cardano pool. Uh, in this video, we're going to be preparing our node for um, uh, Cardano installation. So uh, in, in, in last video, we uh, created a Linux server um, on one of the uh, data centers. We uh, created a user. We uh, set up SSH keys. Uh, we enabled that user to use SSH keys. Uh, and we set up a swap file. And I think we stopped there. Uh, so right now, um, let's log on to our test machine using that new user that we created. So uh, in, uh, in, in part one, we had uh, root here. So we're going to switch it to Cardano and uh, we're going to connect to that machine. Uh, we're going to enter the password for the SSH key. And we are in. So... Um, First thing that we want to do um, on, on this machine, we're going to set up uh, a firewall. Um, w. Allow. Protocol TCP. From. Any. You, any. Uh, port 22. Uh, so first thing that we're going to do, we're going to uh, enable port 22. That's uh, the port that we're uh, con uh, connecting with to this machine uh, using uh, SSH. If you don't enable this and you enable the firewall, you're going to uh, get disconnected from this uh, session and you will not be able to uh, uh, reconnect. Um, so... Uh, all right, so in here I made a mistake. Uh, um, allow is two L's. Rules updated. Okay, now we're going to enable our uh, firewall. Firewall is active. Okay. Uh, so now we want to update uh, our machine. I'm going to be copying the commands from uh, my tutorial on the website. And uh, as I uh, mentioned in the previous video, you guys can follow um, that tutorial on our website, instructions.target-pool.com. And uh, you just want to copy and uh, paste all of those commands. Okay, so right now we're updating our machine. Okay, so uh, update has finished. It took about two minutes to complete. Um, now we're going to uh, install Python. That also took about a minute to install. And uh, right now we're going to install Cabal. Uh, Okay, so now uh, Cabal is installed into a local bin folder. Um, let's uh, uh, add, uh, add it to bash RC and uh, make sure that uh, our system can find this uh, file. Um, okay. And uh, we're going to update Cabal. And we're going to verify version. Uh, and if we see uh, version number, then everything installed correctly. Cabal version 3.2. Uh, if you guys receive this message, then everything installed correctly. 
Uh, our next step is going to be uh, to install GHC. It's a uh, Haskell uh, compiler. Okay, so GHC finished uh, installation. Let's uh, run GHC version. And uh, it installed 8.10.2. Uh, That's the latest version at the time of this recording. So right now we're going to uh, install Lipsodium. We're going to install it in uh, uh, folder git. So we need to change directory. And uh, we're going to co uh, copy Lipsodium from uh, IOHK. Okay, it's taking a while, so I'm going to pause this. Okay, so our Lipsodium installation has finished. So uh, let's add a uh, path to our bash RC file. Okay, so uh, we're done with uh, server preparation. Uh, now the exciting part, now we can install the Cardano node. So let's uh, change the directory to Git. And uh, we're gonna download Cardano from uh, GitHub uh, IOHK. Okay. Um, now we should have a uh, directory um, uh, called uh, Cardano node. So we're going to go to this directory. And uh, we're going to see what versions of uh, Cardano are now available. Okay, at the time of... Uh, this recording, the latest version is uh, 1.25.1. So let's go ahead and install that. And we're going to be installing it uh, with uh, GHC. So during the installation, um, a lot of people uh, think that this is an error message, um, resolving dependencies, falling back to older state. Uh, this is not an error message, just uh, uh, continue here. All right, guys, while uh, everything was installing, I was enjo uh, uh, enjoying my German beer, and uh, I noticed that my putty session got interrupted. Um, so, uh, I'm going to show you something. This actually happens, uh, quite often. I'm not sure why, uh, uh, uh during the installation. So we're going to enter, um, into our machine again. Uh, and here we're going to run, uh, 
multiplex or tmux and it's going to run all of the commands uh, um, in the background so in case if you get interrupted uh if your session gets interrupted uh the installation process is still going to run so uh we're gonna um repeat some of the commands uh that we ran And we're gonna um, get version one twenty five one, and uh, we ran this command last time, and uh, this is where it got stuck. All right, so it actually took um, about thirty minutes. So right now, let's add. Um, our Lipsodium libraries to our uh, node. And uh, we're going to do a Cabal build all. Um, so my, my instructions uh, on our pools website uh, say that you need to run tmux uh, at this time, but since we already ran it, uh, you just need to run the um, cabal build all. All right, and this is going to take a while, so uh, um, you can take a break. It's it's going to take a couple of hours. Uh, so for you right now, it's going to take a couple of seconds because I'm going to pause this. All right, guys. So uh, it took about an hour to uh, install. Uh, we're, we're done with our installation. This would be uh, a good place to uh, stop this instructional video. Uh, and uh, we're going to continue um, with part three. Uh, up to this point, uh, all three uh, of the machines that we're going to be creating are going to be exactly the same. So we're going to have two relays and one block producer. Um, we're working on relay one. And in next video, we're going to clone this machine into relay two and uh, into a block producer. Then we're going to... Um, uh, continue with our configuration and we're going to finally uh, launch um, our relay. Um, so stay tuned. Uh, uh, part three is coming up. Thank you for watching.